Greetings, folks, and welcome to On Blast with MG. MG here, and today we are going to do something that generally takes 45 minutes to an hour. We're going to do it in 15 minutes with the Instapot, and that is we're going to do some risotto. Risotto generally takes about 45 minutes to do. Um, you know, there's lots of stirring involved, lots of stovetop time, and some, uh, some pretty decent prep. Uh, we're going to take that time and cut it into about 15-20 uh, minutes and we're going to do it in the Insta Pot. So for that busy family, which is me, I have a young child uh, and I'm always running around. I got to, I got to, you know, food is one of those things that I love cooking. But you know what, if I can make risotto in 15-20 minutes in the Insta Pot, I'm going to do that as opposed to sitting around the stove for 45 minutes while also keeping an eye on a busy five-year-old. So let's get to it. So the ingredients are pretty simple. You gotta have an Instapot um, or some sort of a rice cooker, I'm ta uh, I, I take it, but the Instapot does a lot of different things. This is our Instapot right here. If you haven't seen one before, it does a lot of different stuff. This is one of the things that, the must, one of the must-have items in your kitchen, I, I, I I think, you know, if you could, you know, shell out, you know, under a hundred bucks, you could get yourself one of these guys and, you know, you could really do a, a ton of stuff. Um, you know, rice is one of the things I use on a regular basis, but you could do soups, you could do chilies, you could do stews, you could do sauteing, slow cooking, you could do cakes, you could, you could sterilize. Hey, hey, guess what? New parent, need to sterilize those uh, breast uh, uh, pumping devices? Boom, right there. Hey, you work in a uh, surgeon's office, maybe you get yourself an Instapot. In any case, risotto is what we're gonna do today. These are the ingredients. I usually like to put a little bit of uh, mushroom in my risotto. You gotta have, of course, the arborio rice, which is uh, specific to risotto. Um, this, is, this is a must have. I usually like to do a little bit of tarragon in there, and I like to use chicken stock um, as, my, um, as my liquid. Uh, the reason I, you could use anything else for your liquid really, but I like chicken, chicken uh, broth, uh, or I could, sometimes I use bone broth, beef, bone, bone broth, chicken, whatever. You could use fish if you like, so whatever you want to use for that, you can, to your taste. Alright, so let's just get going, let's do this really quick and see how easy it is, alright? Alright folks, so right off the bat, gotta get your requisite scotch, in this case, it's a 12 year old Glenn Fittich. Cheers to me. Second, you're gonna want to cut your um, veggies down. I chopped down my um, my mushrooms, chopped down the tarragon a little bit. I usually like to put some butter in there as as the um, instead of olive oil, and uh, get your stuff ready. As soon as you've done that, come on back to your Instapot, open it up, and you know my kitchen is pretty small, but bear with me. I want to go down here first and I'm going to hit the saute button and get that going. So what that's going to do, it's going to heat up the uh, the inside over here and I'm going to saute my rice with a bit of butter and I'm going to toss in my tarragon and uh, my mushrooms in there and kind of stir around a little bit, get a little bit of browning going on and uh, help it go along. So let's go ahead and let this heat up for about three minutes and then we'll toss our stuff in. All right, since that's heated up just a bit, we're going to take our butter we're going to toss it in here and coat the bottom of the, there we go, and we're going to coat the bottom of the pot with, uh, with the butter. All right, as we got the butter melting and uh, getting nice and hot in there, make sure we spread it all around. We're going to toss our uh, mushrooms and our tarragon and our rice in here, and we're going to let it cook down a little bit, let it, let it brown up, actually, I should say. So we want to toss the stuff in here and get a nice little browning color on it. All right, there we go. Get the rice in there, got the mushrooms, got the tarragon. Get the butter in there, we got on the saute setting. Now we're just gonna stir it around in there and uh, brown it up a little bit. Make sure it's all nice and uh, nice and stirred up together. Just get a nice little browning on it. It's really not, we're not really doing anything to it. We're just getting uh, the mushrooms broken down a little bit, get some more flavor into the, into the risotto. Also get some more flavor from the tarragon, basically activating the, the tarragon and the mushroom and the, uh, the rice. All right. I generally do this for about, I'd say five minutes or so. 
get a nice uh, get a nice uh, brownie color on the on the rice and and the mushrooms and the tarragon to break them down. Oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ, people. There goes one. There goes two. And a half. I got two and a half cups of my chicken broth in there. Give it one good stir. Try to get some of the stuff off the sides. Some of the rice. It's kind of being getting on the side when you were before. All right, got to get a good mix right here, and you're set. All right, now we're going to put our top on. All right, we're going to make sure it's not set to venting. And as easy as pressing the rice button, okay? We're going to cancel the saute first, actually, and then go ahead, put on the rice. I like mine to be on the more and high pressure, but that's you, you could try yours maybe on the you know medium pressure and on the less uh, cook, but try it on the more with a high pressure and uh, see what you think about it. But that's it. That's basically it. Now we're we're, we're basically uh, starting cooking. We're about 15 minutes away from uh, um, from this being done. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end. But to recap, I got rice, I got tarragon, I got mushrooms, cooked, sauteed in butter, butter for five minutes, uh, then add two and a half cups of broth of your choice, 
and uh, that uh, is going to cook down on the rice setting uh, and it will come out a beautiful risotto at the end so nothing to it you could do it uh, really easy uh, go ahead and comment on the video if you like uh, give me some other ideas um, and I look forward to uh, seeing the end product we'll come back in about 15 or so minutes okay after it's done zero on the timer you gotta release some steam that's the most fun part Woo! all right this is the final result are you ready for the deliciousness let's check it out oh here we go look at that oh yes basically this is the consistency i like my risotto at very 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 lovely smooth simply smooth you could add a little bit more rice if you like or you could add a little bit more water you could add more mushrooms you could add whatever spices and salts you want but this is basically risotto now if you want it a little bit more runny add a little bit more broth so there you go instapot risotto enjoy <laughs>